Let's get to our off the record final word, our parting shots. Bob Clay, you're up first. Uh, Mike, we actually had a Department of the State of Ohio with good news, announcing good news. Uh, the Department of Jobs and Family Services announced that during night or 2019 that they created the state of Ohio created over 27,000 new jobs and that's really good news All right. with the with the dismissal uh, by the Ohio Supreme Court House uh, House Bill 6 challenges are dead this is the uh, nuclear the nuclear bailout bailout bill yes. it is dead it's dead kaput. all right and um, just as far as pushing back the ish, dealing with these vouchers for another two months, um, I don't think they're going to be able to do it in two months in a million years. How's that? Right. That's a great prediction. <laughs> Thanks. Maybe Looking forward to that one. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to that one coming true. Late nights for Jackie. You're up. <laughs> uh, well, on Friday's uh, federal campaign finance uh, deadline, we found out that Mike Bloomberg has spent $188 million just since entering the race in November, and that does not include January. So I think, uh, you know, his strategy is to avoid the early states. He's already spent more than, I haven't added it up, but probably everybody else combined. Uh, and so I think, you know, I think we should be watching for, for him on Super Tuesday and even in Ohio. You see his ads. Probably a Super Bowl ad probably too probably. as well. Uh, my prediction is uh, spring is not too far away. That means it is softball season coming up. And based on the types of questions that U.S. senators were asking their sides during the impeachment trial. Lots of softball questions. I predict they'll have an excellent softball team, whether they split into parties or have a bipartisan team. It was quite a display of their softball prowess.